Hi guys, it's Thomas here from CO2Base.com. Welcome to our weekly CO2 review. Today we're going to be analyzing the 12th Commitments of Traders Report of 2023. And as we always do, we shall start off by looking at the largest changes in commercials positions. Before we jump to the review, just a brief reminder for those who are new to CO2 analysis here at CO2Base.com. You'll find a lot of educational material explaining to you what the CO2 report is all about. Um, who issues it and how you can actually benefit from this highly valuable um, data. Uh, we do have some very useful videos as well that will guide you through the analysis process. And uh, we not only uh, focus on the classic COT report, but we also have our own uh, indicators, the ICOT intraday indicator and the ICOT intraday indicator with after signal, basically indicators that we developed after many, many years. Uh, they mimic um, the concepts of classic COT analysis, which is based on a weekly data issued by CFTC. ICOT is something of our own, and um, uh, basically you can benefit uh, using this information in the intraday as well uh, on very short time frames. I'm gonna show you an example in this review on the Canadian dollar, which is actually on the list and will be uh, we will be talking about it um, regarding the classic CO2 report. So we are analyzing the legacy, or as we call it, the classic CO2 report type. Here at cotbase.com, you can actually access all the different report types. So CFTC has uh, published disaggregated traders and financial futures and commodity index traders um, uh, report uh, types as well. We offer all three actually data types. So futures only, futures and options, and you can actually look at only options data type as well. Uh, by default, this uh, review is uh, produced on the um, classic uh, report type and futures and options combined. So let's get started and start off with the first market. We're gonna jump over complex. Complex markets, basically what we do is we look at a sector. Uh, as you can see, we have livestock and then we combine uh, the COT data into one uh, data representing the entire sector. Uh, something unique only available here at cotbase.com. So we're gonna jump over that. Uh, that's something for our subscribers. Gasoline, here we have a 35% change in commercials net positions. And this based on a 52 week look back period, which of course corresponds to one year. So what we do is we measure the recent change in traders' net positions compared to the uh, to the last 52 weeks range, and we want to understand how much the change was compared to that range. And in this case, we are talking about a 35% change, which is actually pretty pretty large. It is a bullish COT change signal. The only thing I don't like about it this week that we've actually had one uh, a week earlier, which which um, as you can see happened. Uh, at a good point in time, by the time we saw this uh, uh, change, you can see the market has already acted upon it. Uh, we have seen a bit of a rise, so the change signal could be a little bit late for us to act upon. Nevertheless, it does support further increase in the value of gasoline in the next couple of days. So don't forget, COT change signals are actually short-term signals. If you want to have a better picture understanding of the longer-term um, story then of course the five years chart would be helpful in that and you can see on this five years chart that we are actually close to bullish extreme levels so again we're focusing on the red line representing commercials net positions uh, and you can see that this current reading is actually on the uh, upper um, uh, upper level here in this channel if we if we look at it so the most bearish extreme over over here in January of 2020 uh, 2020 and then we had a few good examples of bullish COT extremes so um, we are on the uh, bullish side of things suggesting in the medium to long term we should see higher prices coming uh, the next market is going to be crude oil. Uh, we are, of course, analyzing the Brent uh, crude right now. Um, going back to the one year's chart, so we have this 28% change in commercials net positions. You can see that it is definitely greater than average. We have seen such changes 
in the past and you can always go back in time and see how the market reacted to to larger changes you can see that the greatest change was actually a bearish cot change signal but a highly effective one just at that top pushing the market lower uh, and of course we were getting a bit larger bullish uh, changes nothing huge um, before we we ended up getting a bottom here uh, i would say this is a bullish cot chain signal that is interesting however you can see that it was not effective um, so i think really combining classic cot analysis with the icot intraday analysis it would give you the best um, um, system uh, moving on to the five years chart you get a chance to examine the stress levels in this market uh, which is again uh, bullish um, similarly to what we've just saw in gasoline so we have a bullish cot chain signal combined with a bullish cot extreme signal uh, that's always good to see both um, of our uh, cot signals pointing in the same direction now canadian dollar is our next market nope not soybean meal i wanted to choose canadian dollar here where as you can see we have a 27 percent change in commercials net positions so here we go switching to the one year chart you can see uh, this very significant bullish change in um, commercials and large speculators net positions you can go back in time and find the second largest just over here in October of 2022 pretty much at this bottom over here so um, yeah it's it's definitely pointing upwards and if we switch over our attention to the five years chart then not only do we um, conclude we have a COT chain signal bullish but actually stress levels have built up uh, as well and you can see from January 20, 2019 when we had just a bit uh, larger extreme what happened then pushing the market higher and just after the crash uh, 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 happening after COVID you can see bullish COT extreme ratings just at these bottoms as well so uh, yeah Canadian dollar seems to be changing uh, its direction medium to long term I would expect um, prices rising here uh, don't forget that at cotbase.com you can actually switch the market in case of currency futures so that you can see um, uh, how how the forex chart looks like so this is going to be the us dollar canadian dollar pair which of course is the inverse and why am i doing that is because that's the popular market you trade so when we're going to switch over to the icot intraday analysis uh, it becomes clear so basically we switched the uh the market uh we're measuring uh us dollar uh and canadian dollars and you can see that on this chart here this is actually can is a bearish um, extreme and a bearish co2 chain signal now let's move on to the icot intraday indicator and here you can see how a one hour candlestick chart looks so again we are looking at uh, bearish opportunities so combining it with the um, ICOT intraday indicator, we are going to be looking at um, you know shorting opportunities. You can see what happened. This is a one hour candlestick chart and you can see how well we caught this uh, top in the market a couple of times and we are actually there as we're speaking. Um, just comes to show how effective uh, ICOT intraday uh, signals are and by the way, uh, this is a default setting um, on the market so no changes uh, to the settings this is what you get if you put these uh, signals uh, onto the chart you can go deeper uh, let's look at a 15 minutes candlestick chart here you go again uh, some some great signals over here but I mean you can go down to the one minute level as well if you want to and you can see how it can do on a one minute candlestick chart catching pretty nice bottoms tops here taking you down for quite some time so yeah uh, this is how you can really use the two um, together which I think is the best way uh, to use our services so that's just a little preview of what the uh, intraday indicator does this is the version with after signal giving you exact buy sell signals filtering out a lot of 
uh, unnecessary signals that you don't want to enter into. That's what really the after signal gives you. Um, back to our classic COT review and uh, continuing with large speculator COT uh, extremes, we've got lean hogs on top of our list. Uh, with a 714 report extreme in large speculators position. So you can see uh, that on this five years chart, we have not seen anything as extreme as uh, the cases right now. Uh, of course, uh, commercials are at a bullish extreme as well. So this is a bullish COT extreme suggesting strengthening in the next couple of weeks and months ahead of us. Uh, another crude oil, this time the WTI, uh, here we have a 537 report extreme again pushing um, the narrative to the bullish side here in, in energy markets so it's the third market in this review everything is pointing upwards uh, we talked about the Canadian dollar so we're going to close off with soybean oil where we have 188 report extreme now I've said this many times in the past but if you're new uh, to these reviews soybean markets soybean markets are actually one of the best markets um, uh, with respect to COT analysis. What I mean by that, they are actually highly effective. So you can really uh, show and 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 and, and um, teach basically classic COT analysis on these markets. So bullish extremes, as you can see, always coincided with the bottom. And right now we have one, a significant one. So a great signal, um, possibly the best signal in this review soybean oil i know it's not an, um, necessarily the market most people trade however uh, there are uh, opportunities um, to trade it and uh, classic cot analysis is indicating that we have a great opportunity here on the bullish side of things of course keep in mind these um, extremes can widen for many many weeks before we actually reach the top so it's just you know signaling that stress levels are at a level uh, that you should have your eyes on this market so uh, if you're somebody who's trading soybean oil then it's good to know that uh, yeah this decline could be over soon so yeah that was that was all for this review this was our last market don't forget see, here at cotbase.com you can of course find um, much more um, a lot of markets to analyze if you are interested in a specific market uh, let's just stay here uh, soybean oil you can actually choose the market and really dig into the data uh, if you want it to so it's it's really a very very in-depth way of an analyzing uh, cot reports uh, you can of course select a, a specific data set and then have it charted by the system uh, you can actually um, if you're a pro member you can actually download the data that we offer there's there's so much to do here we are uh, entirely focused on the commitments of traders report so if you're somebody interested in in that then this is the place you should be thank you very much for your attention i hope you enjoyed this review i wish you guys a very pleasant weekend and i hope i'll see you in my next cot review take care goodbye